around in the mountains, life is so incredibly simple. He belongs in a different era when it was like wild. I can tell little Mark Andre stories all day, but he doesn't even care if anybody ever knows what he's climbing. It's more just to have a casual, fun adventure. I just hope he's careful. Anything can happen. I mean, I know it's dangerous. I'm not like deluding myself that it's not dangerous to go soloing. So why do it? Solo alpinism, climbing big technical mountains, is more than just a sport. It's only for the very best climbers on their very best days. It's the art of surviving in the most crazy situations. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, wow. <laughs> um, this was, you know, a spectacular looking film. I mean, I can't even begin to, to think how you guys got some of those shots. But how did you get some of those shots? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so it's kind of a combination in this film. When we have, when Mark actually tells us what he's going to do, we can go up the day before, but you know, we go with the riggers and the best cameraman and we get our ropes in place and we analyze like the objective hazards. And then, you know, when he's actually performing his dance up there, we're just, you know, disappear into the background. And it's a combination of that. And then also, you know, giving Mark a camera or, you know, when he's willing to shoot some stuff for us. Cause for him, some of it was, he would prefer to just be out there alone He's like, I'll, I'll shoot some stuff, you know, like when I have a moment. Um, so it was a real mix of all, all different stuff. Because yeah. spectacular footage is one thing, but finding him giving a personal message to his girlfriend when he's alone, uh, thousands of feet up on a mountain in the teeth of a storm, that's, a, that's not something that Pete and I could ever film. Right. Are you guys, you know, into rock climbing? <laughs> is this yeah. something that's, uh, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I've been climbing my whole life. I know Nick and I used to climb together back in college. And yeah, we went to college. So we, we love this world and we know it, but we're, we wouldn't ever dream of doing anything close to what Mark even is doing up there. Yeah. Well, I mean, Free Solo was such a, you know, a surprising uh, hit, you know, and whatnot. And, and I guess it kind of shined a spotlight on this, on this world. But you guys were already making this movie about Mark, right? Yeah. And we've been, you know, we film, we film a lot of stuff in this world. We make films with Alex Honnold. Um, we know this world very well. And, um, you know, we're close with Jimmy and Chai and Alex. And so we were, you know, we were fully aware of, of, of everything going on with their film. Yeah. Except for this, you know, I, I actually did not know his story completely, Mark's. Um, but going along, I had a bad feeling. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, you know, a story about Mark that both of you, you know, like surprised you about him. Could you, could you share something uh, just to pit about him? Yeah, I mean, I'll just, I'll just go in. I mean, a story that wasn't in the film is just like, um, you know, when we first went to Squamish and hunted this guy down and, you know, put him in front of a camera, um, you know, it was just really, really amazing how really genuinely kind of shy and reticent he was um, and conflicted between, you know, climbing is not just a sport, it's a philosophy. And part of it is about, you know, not just how you climb, but why you climb. And it was very important for Mark to, you know, his heroes were very sort of pure, purely intentioned climbers. And he was worried about getting involved with media and all that stuff. Um, right. At the same time, he really wanted to share it with the world. And, um, you know, it was just funny to see him kind of go through uh, that tension as, as we were filming with him over a couple of years. And ultimately, I think he was really happy to, to share this with the world. Yeah, I mean, it is a beautiful thing to share, but also it's a very solitary thing and I can understand the 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 uh, conflict there well thank you guys so much my son's a rock climber too just in the gym right. Right now. <laughs> just in the gym <laughs> so I'm gonna right, let him know to watch bad. this one he loved free solo so he's gonna love this one too awesome. so anyway thanks thanks, thanks a lot man. guys Mark Andre has some challenges as a kid climbing it's like a form of freedom to be himself when you're in the mountains it's like all of the superficialities of life just sort of evaporate. Holy smokes! Tore Ager.
They're going climbing. Some people consider it the hardest peak in the Americas. There's a razor's edge between genius and madness. That's a sharp, hard edge to ride. How was it? Scary? No, not particularly. But just another day out. <laughs> a really good day out.